On Saturday, the Electoral Commission spokesperson revealed that though the October 16th deadline for submitting signatures endorsing different presidential candidates had passed, it was still possible for candidates and their representatives to submit their signatures. Uh, those who are outside that date, of course, are still able to bring in because it's an administrative deadline. It's not in, in, in the law that if you do not do that by two weeks before nominations, then you are, you are disqualified. Joel Senyonyi, the spokesperson of the National Unity Platform, says the party submitted signatures endorsing Robert Chagulanyi to the Electoral Commission on Saturday afternoon. Luckily, we were able to get 33,000 signatures within this period of two days, you know, which is over and above. Um, we submitted those signatures to the Electoral Commission yesterday, beating the deadline. So now, when we send our mobilizers to quickly get other signatures, uh, some of them actually were detained, you know, for a couple of hours, uh, saying, what are you doing in this place? FDC, DP and ANT say they will submit their party's signatures to the Electoral Commission over the next few days. FDC will be represented by Patrick Oboy Amriat, DP's flag will be held by Nobat Mao, while Major General Mugisha Muntu will stand on the Alliance for National Transformation ticket in the 2021 general elections. The nomination for presidential is second and third. Under the law, even if we submitted them on the third, the Electoral Commission is under obligation to verify them and nominate you. But they have made it look like you must submit them early. Someone who, by any, uh, by, by any circumstances, decide next week that I will be a presidential candidate, the law allows him to go on correcting signature and submit them. So we are not late. We will submit them next week just to beat their administrative requirement. By Tuesday last week, we had so far gathered the two million signatures. We do intend to submit as soon as possible. I am without a doubt that before our nominations, we shall have submitted our documents or our forms to the Electoral Commission. Currently, as far as the NT is concerned, we have managed to collect all the signatures all over the country. Most likely we're going to do this within this week because the last batch came in on Friday. It's been a weekend. FDC spokesperson says those who say they have gathered millions of signatures are simply playing to the gallery. And submission of signatures into a ceremony that someone goes with a truck full of signatures. Yet the Presidential Elections Act makes it a requirement to submit 100, 100 signatures from each of two-thirds of the total districts in Uganda. The total districts now are 146. So if you have about 100, you are done. 100 districts times 100 signatures. So that's all that you require to accompany a presidential nomination form. Some political organizations think the collection of signatures for candidates representing political parties should be done away with since the Electoral Commission already has enough information about the party's membership and representation. If I am FDC, you already have signatures of people who endorsed FDC at registration. It is double work to ask me to seek the same endorsement. We believe, rather, that it should only be the independents that should actually seek forms, I mean, I mean signatures, to support their candidature. I think the rationale was that uh, that proves seriousness and soundness of a candidate. Because you don't want to have a candidate who cannot garner support in even one district. Ibrahim Semujunganda says if re-elected, he will move a private member's bill seeking to amend a section of the Presidential Elections Act to scrap the requirement for the endorsement signatures gathered from over two-thirds of the country's districts. Jumakiria, NTV.